Hey everyone, this is Grady from Suboverland, and in this video I'll be going over the process. So, once you put a deposit down um, for the waiting list, what next? And so I'll be going over that now. So if you're watching this video, you're more than likely on the waiting list, so you've reserved a spot uh, with your deposit. And uh, for those of you that haven't, I can explain that really quickly. Um, here at Suboverland, we have uh, six builds a month, and that is um, just kind of what we do as far as you know the the number. We don't do custom stuff. We stick with our suburbans and Yukonix sells in that in, in that platform, um, and we just that's our that's our lane, and so we stick with it. And it is a five hundred dollar non refundable um, deposit to reserve a spot. Um, and when I say uh, reserve a spot, like on our website and you know social media, it'll say earliest completion date availability, and it'll have a month. And so if you, if it's December 2022, then you would simply, you know, put the deposit down and then you would reserve a spot for that month. And then um, for that month, um, you would be required to either come and pick up the completed vehicle um, when it's finished or uh, you could have it shipped. Um, some clients go that route also. Um, and so that's just a quick little overview of, of that process. But I wanted to get into more of once you've um, put the deposit down, what can you expect? So once you've put that deposit down, um, we will obviously get a notification. That deposit can be made on the website. And um, once we know that, we will send out our uh, pre-build checklist. And so this checklist goes over a lot of different things and it's quite a bit of information. And it'll go over things like, what, what model are you interested in? We have a couple different models that we offer um, it'll also have, you know, different add-ons and what drivetrain. Do you want a half-ton Suburban? Do you want a three-quarter-ton Suburban? Um, different, different questions like that. How many total seats do you want? Um, a lot, just, there's just a lot of information on that. And so you'll automatically, you'll be sent that. And so you'll just need to go over that. Um, there are links in that attachment to YouTube videos that I have made over the years going over those individual choices. So for example, um, it'll have you know videos of the Ichi Ni and San um, package and, and, and the base. And it'll also have videos of the different add-ons that we offer like is the full master exhaust for you or um, the double din with the backup camera, is that gonna be worth it? So there's um, a lot of videos that I've done and so um, I would just suggest going over that. And then, so that's the initial, right? The pre-build checklist. And then after the pre-build checklist, we usually will contact you, you know, a couple times throughout the process, just saying, you know, hey, how's it going? And we'll have, you know, if there's any updates or anything. Um, but other than that, you really won't hear from us a ton um, during, you know, those first, I would say eight months. Um, and then uh, about four months or so before your build uh, completion date, we will contact you um, about reserving the vehicle. Um, and so I'll get into that next. So once you've uh, completed the pre-build checklist, you'll obviously, you'll send us the answers. And then, like I said, about four months before your completion date, um, you'll start the process of choosing what vehicle you want and that process I'll, I'll, I'll get into that now. So here here at Sub Overland we usually have about um, 30 give or take uh, Suburbans, Yukon XLs. When I say Suburban it just kind of means the whole shebang. You know you got the Yukon XL, um, we have Tahoe's, you kind of sell Denali's, Suburbans, Escalade sometimes. So it's kind of like that, that whole platform, right? 
And so we'll have about 30 of those, you know, vehicles um, in stock. And depending on, you know, the times, you'll have, you know, some to choose from. So you, we like to keep a big inventory so you have a good selection of different mileages, you know, colors, conditions. So, you know, some of them leather, cloth, different interiors. Um, so those are all differing things. Um, and so you'll, you'll get a list of the available vehicles and you'll just choose from, from that list. It's pretty simple. Um, the other option is to bring your own vehicle and we also do that for sure. Um, and that we have plenty of clients bring their own vehicle that they've either owned for many years or they just purchased it and they will send it to us or drop it off and we will do the conversion while they're you know waiting in town in a hotel or like I said they'll they'll send it to us um, ship it to us and so that's I mean that's really broad but um, within the suburban um, the within the, the vehicle options there's obviously there's a lot of you know questions I'm, I'm sure that you'll have and we're here to answer those. Um, across the board, every one of these vehicles is four-wheel drive or all-wheel drive. The only all-wheel drive ones we have are, you know, the Denali's or the Escalades. So 95 or more percent are going to be four-wheel drive. So we get that question a lot. We don't really, I, don't, I think I've, I've never converted out my own personal two-wheel drive one that, that, that we bought. And so they're all four-wheel drive. And regardless of the mileage, we always expect each vehicle to go the same amount of miles total, if that makes sense. And so there's no warranty on our vehicles. You know, it's a used, used vehicle. But um, we check them out just like a normal shop. And I mean, shops can say that, you know, yeah, I checked it out, but we actually are driving these vehicles for months. And so that, to me, that's a really big benefit for you as a, as, as a customer, for sure. Um, and then, so that's, we, we fully expect each vehicle to go the distance. So after you have chosen your vehicle, um, we're going to start working on it. Um, doing you know all the suspension, uh, mechanical work on it, and obviously the build side of it um, to your spec, because we'll at that point we will have your pre-build checklist and all of your options and your add-ons, whatever ones you want, and then we'll have your vehicle chosen, and we will also have a solid um, completion date where you would be expected to, um, you know, come get the vehicle or have it shipped by that date. Um, also during that time, um, I will be sending out an invoice, um, obviously before you show up, so you'll, you'll receive an invoice, um, you know, months ahead of time. And so you'll be able to go over that if there's any errors or you want to change anything, um, that would be the time. And so you, you've got your, your vehicle, we're starting to build it, um, you've received the invoice, um, and then you're prepping to get here. And that would involve getting some money. <laughs> so uh, we accept cash or cashier's check for the final payment. And that's another question we get a lot. So it's, it's $500 deposit, and then the, um, the only payment the next payment is when you pick up your vehicle. And so you're just, ob there, there's no payment plan or anything like that. Um, you are just expected when you come and, you know, pick up the vehicle, uh, you'll have the remaining balance that will you know, be on the invoice. So another question we get a lot is, what's the best way to get here? We are in Twin Falls, Idaho. Uh, we have an airport that I would say, I don't know the percentage, but most of our clients will fly directly into Twin Falls. That's the most common way for people to get here. And 
Uh, it's a small airport, like I said, and I mean, it's probably a little bit more expensive than some airports. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't really fl flown in here very much, but uh, most people will go that route. Now, there is also, we have some clients that will fly into like Boise, um, Boise, Idaho. It's about two hour drive from here. So they'll fly in there, rent a car and, you know, come here. And then also Salt Lake is like a three to four hour drive from here. So we've had clients flying to Salt Lake City, Utah. And so that's some other, some other options there. Um, and then the day of, or, you know, however we arrange it, we can pick you up at the airport. Uh, we can help out with, you know, shuttling type stuff with your, your rental car. You know, we can, we can help out with that. So you don't have to worry about, you know, getting an Uber, you know, on, on the day of your, um, uh, delivery when you pick up your vehicle. Now, if it's, you know, obviously if you fly in at midnight, I'm probably not going to come out, but um, that's, that's just the way the cookie crumbles. I'll be sleeping. But if it's, you know, the day, most, most flights will come here like around 11 a.m. and I'll go pick up the client and it's great because I'll pick them up in their new rig and it's all fun and uh, come to um, Sub Overland headquarters and uh, we'll go into the next step and I'll explain that now. So you've, let's, in, in review, you've deposit, you've done the pre-build checklist, um, you've chosen your vehicle, we've started to build it, we've completed the vehicle, you've got travel arrangements, and you are in Twin Falls now. I just picked you up from the airport and we're driving back. So the next step would be to obviously show you your new vehicle. And so I'll, I'll go for a little you know, I don't know how many minutes they usually are, but I will, you know, show the vehicle to the client. So I'll go over like the solar generator, how that works, um, tips, different things like that. I'll go over, you know, the drawer system, window inserts. I'll just give, you know, a good overview of the interior build and how it all works. And so you feel comfortable um, leaving here. And I'll also go over, you know, some of the maintenance stuff that we did on each individual vehicle. Um, show the client how to check the fluids and different things like that. Um, and that's pretty much the extent of that tour. And then the next step would be to, um, you know, we would collect payment and uh, process the paperwork. And for paperwork, um, most of our clients are out of state. We rarely will sell a vehicle to Idaho. And because of that, um, you know, we, we are a dealer. Um, we are, it's a sub, sub Overland is a dealership. And so because of that, we have some, you know, we obviously have to do paperwork and, you know, be legal and everything. Um, yes, we are a legit uh, company. Sometimes people used to ask me that all the time, especially at the beginning, like, you do this for a living and you know they didn't mean any harm i'm sure but it was it was funny to me because i wonder how many people thought that i was just like collecting all these suburbans anyway funny but that's that's off off point so we'll do um the paperwork and we will have the clean title in hand and it'll be under our name um sub overland it'll be in sub overland's name and so you will obviously do the title work with us and you'll receive um, bill of sale, clean title. We don't mess with any salvage stuff or whatever. They're always clean titles. And um, you will have a 30 day temporary tag that um, we'll put in your window. So you can um, get back to your state legally. Um, the only thing that you need to have set up is uh, car insurance, obviously. So you need to have the insurance uh, set up you know, before you get here, ideally. Um, and after the paperwork is done and all, you know, the money has been um, processed, then you're good to go. I snap a picture and uh, send you on your way. So in review, um, after you've made the deposit, you are going to fill out the pre-build uh, checklist that we send you via email. And then 
in uh, some time after that, you will get a um, another you know email, and we will reach out to you about choosing a vehicle. And at that point, we will start building the vehicle. And then from there, we will send you an invoice going over the total amount for the build. You will start to you know prep all of that, um, and and also your travel. To, to get here to pick it up or to ship it. And then the day of, we'll pick you up from the airport or wherever, or you know wherever you decide um, to get here, we can help you out a little bit with that. And then uh, we will go over the vehicle. I will give you a tour of it and show you all the functions. And then we will do paperwork. You will walk out of here with a clean title you know, bill of sale, everything that you'll need to register the vehicle in your home state, uh, as well as a 30-day temporary tag. Uh, so that concludes this video. Uh, thanks for watching.